This painter was born in 1843 in Paris and studied at the École des Beaux-Arts from the year 1861, working in the ateliers of Isidore Pils, François-Edouard Picot, and Louis Lamotte, where he met his best friend, Henri Regnault. Five years after that, he exhibited for the first time in the Salon de Paris. He traveled extensively, sharing his discoveries and his travels with several other artists. Being at a trip to Spain with Henri Regnault and Adelaide Dafi, a trip to Italy with François Flamengue and Jean-Léon Giraud, or even a trip to Egypt with music composer Camille Saint-Saëns. One will quickly understand that these artists knew no borders and were eager to exchange knowledge to further their art. He visited Tetuan in Morocco, thanks to the Spanish painter Maria Fortuny, who years before had obtained free passage from the general prince. Loving Morocco so much, in 1869, he decided with his friend Henri Regnault to open up an atelier. They had even planned to buy land near the Tangier Soko in order to build an actual atelier. But unfortunately, in 1870, they had to return to France for the Franco-Prussian War, in which, in 1871, Henri Regnault passed away. Later, the artist returned to Tangiers, and then traveled to Fez with the French ambassador, saying his final goodbyes to Morocco in 1870. The artist was equally a very close friend of Sarah Bernard and made several paintings of her, whether it was in her roles or even in a private setting in her home. In Paris, he was a real socialite and was a popular member of the Artistic Society of the Belle Epoque. He would be close to socialites, musicians, actors, writers, and of course painters. He worked on several public constructions, painting ceilings and frescoes. Some of these can be found in Paris at the Opéra Garnier and the Bourse de Commerce, the theatres of Cherbourg and Tours, but also the famous Casino of Monte Carlo and several other places. He also worked very closely with the world of concerts and opera sometimes even designing costumes for the opera sets, or even illustrating musical partitions. He wrote several books and also illustrated books written by others. Here, the artist shows a Moroccan fantasia by foot in the streets of Tangiers. In the back, the minaret tower of the Jadida Mosque by the place Aïsawa, this is a special form of Fantasia, where the horse cavalcade is replaced by dances where the men are in a circle performing back and forth movements on the rhythm of the music. Fantasias were often related to celebrations such as rites, religious holidays, births, pilgrimages, in essence, to honor people or as one could imagine in this version, for a wedding. In the basur, the tent on the back of the camel, we can see a woman watching in her prime seating. This painter is Jean-Jules Victor Clairin, an Orientalist painter of the 19th century. Gustave Gucci describes him as sincere and determined, always in search of the new, a great terror, storyteller, portrait painter, always trusting his intuition when it comes to the choice of his subject. He has a vivid imagination and a strong skill of composition, originality and strength.